Alright, uh, hey guys, this is just a quick tutorial on how to port forward your Thompson TG782 router. You can do it with almost like any other version similar to this one, this layout, is it? or any other one. They're usually set out around the same, so it's alright if you live in Australia or in Papua, Papua New Guinea and all that, where they use these routers. So, first off, what you're going to want to do is your default gateway varies. So, you're going to want to open up command prompt. So, if you're using Windows XP, just click on run. It should be located around this little bar here under control panel or something like that. And then, or if you're in, then you type in CMD when the little bar pops up and press enter. Alright, so with this on Windows 7 you might need to run it as administrator or Vista or whatever you're going to do it on. But I don't have to because I'm an administrator, my own computer. So first off, you're going to want to type in ipconfig. And then scroll up till you find default gateway. And basically you want to right click, mark and copy this. Yeah, right click it and you select mark and then drag over the numbers. Mine's 10.0.0.138. Just right click that, then you're going to put it in your browser, which I already got mine open and I'm not going to do it because my screen just has spasms when I do it. You come to a page like this. So first off, you want to go games and application sharing, and then you're going to want to go create game or application and you're going to put in a name for it so whatever your server is called you'd have it like either minecraft if you're having a minecraft server or whatever you want to name it but I don't think it can go past a certain amount of characters or something like that it's like 32 but just set it to whatever you want and you want to have manual entry of port maps so this I'm just going to type in I'm going to just have tutorial for mine select manual entry port maps and click next so you come to this page and just for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to have the port range 7272 so you're going to have the protocol on any for both of these unless whatever you're running has to be says basically if it says otherwise if it has to be like TCP or UDP alright so you're going to want to get your port so mine I'm just showing it for the sake of this tutorial is 7272 and you're going to have the range to 7272 you can, I think with some other routers you can have the ranges open to different ones so like you'll be open from port 7272 to 7274 but I'm not sure how to do that at the moment I'll figure out later and you're going to have it to translate to 7272 or your number or whatever you've used for your server or game or application and you want to leave this last one blank and just click add You get this page here. It's loading. It's probably gonna have screen spasm or some shit. But why you? This is loading. Oh yeah, it's loaded. Thank God. Now you're gonna want to go pick a task down the bottom, and it says assign game or application to a local network device. Select this, and this should load. It'll take a couple of seconds. Alright. And there's. I'll put a couple of links in the description to show you what um, links and whatnot to go to so you need to check if your ports are open you can use can you see me dot org I'll put the link in the description and so now we've come to this and you're gonna wanna this is the device that you're currently on mine is not this because I've stuffed up something in the router or it hasn't flushed correctly when I reset it and yeah that's what's course is mine's actually Brody Coles for my computer name 
so that doesn't really matter but <laughs> one area a bit there so you're gonna click on this and then type in like the first letter of what if you've named it so mine's a T the tutorial so just go down here tutorial here we go now you don't you want this log box here unselected and you want to go add make sure it says your computer name in that box otherwise change it until you find it mine's just stopped up at the moment there's actually that device because it's set on a static LAN IP and for this the universal plug and play you want to have that selected and use extended security you want that unselected and just click apply otherwise it makes stuff up you know so anyway yeah alright so that is now port forwarded the ports should be open so I'll go to can you see alright so I kinda stuffed up on that last kid I um I forgot that I had ping disabled on my network device so I've just re enabled that so don't bother about going to kennysemi.org you can go to that and check your port it's not always correct like sometimes if you have ping disabled it will come up and say that it's wrong so now I'll just show you I'll go to what's my ip.org put that in I'll have the link in the description get the ip and I will start up a minecraft server or something like that so I have it on port 7272 and just run this hopefully it runs I remember stuffing up one of them for the fun of it alright so you can basically do this with any other server that you like where is it it's probably going to be a pain oh yeah there we go so add server and then you have to put the port in I'm just using this to check it you can use anything you like yeah here we go it's a mod enjoying this and voila here's my sky block that turned into mammoth block <laughs> anyways rate, comment, subscribe and I'll be getting with you how to set up a static IP address for your LAN device and how to basically fix it if it does stuff up or not. How the hell did I go? Alright. Catch you later. Bye.